This is the Tad Show. <laughs> So, so then we go. Uh, number one contender tag team matchup. Uh, we see that the uh, New Day comes out, and they cut an excellent promo, and it was very entertaining. And um, they sat ringside. Uh, Enzo and Cass came out. But villains, well, villains come out. Enzo and Cass just really were over like Rova, man, in Chicago. Insane. The pop they got, and and, and doing the whole promo with the boys was great stuff. Uh, of all villains. Saw some stuff online that Vince McMahon kind of they're saying is not a fan of the act, which surprises me. Um, I don't know if that's true. If it's on the internet, you, well, <laughs> you, know, you definitely you definitely know it's true. What do you mean no? It's definitely, you know. So it's definitely true. So you know, uh, as most of you guys know, I uh, had a scary moment in this thing. The match was stopped due to a legitimate injury that Enzo uh, suffered uh, via the rope. Um, the ropes in the ring. Now. I'm I'm honestly glad to hear that. I thought it was much worse. So did I. Than, uh... He lost cautious. He hit those ropes. The rope grazed his head, and then he, he fell out of the ring, and he had no control of his body when he went out. I watched this the second time, and I could see he lost complete control of his body. He was knocked out. It had to be. I'm going to be honest. I thought he had a severe cervical spine injury. Yeah, I thought he may have broken his neck. Like, yeah, geez. because so that's all it takes. You would think, oh, God, he just his head just tapped the rope. That's all it takes, guys. The right spot, a concussion, being knocked out, breaking your neck. If it's the right spot at the right speed, you guys don't realize the speed uh, that these athletes in a ring, in pro wrestling, that they're putting their bodies through in a short 20 by 20 in a WWE ring. 20 by 20. This is definitely a hack alert because hack alert. most of these other guys don't know about this. They ain't never been in a ring. So I'm telling you that the speed that's put out there and the size and power of guys, um, that's how a lot of these injuries can happen too. And it's obviously an extremely dangerous industry. Um, I can tell you from experience because I've had a, a ton of injuries. Now, you know, some would look at it like, wow, it didn't seem like that was that much. It doesn't need to be that much. It's just... Obviously, that rope caught his head at the right spot and knocked him out, and he got a concussion. He he, he went. Through, he could have been a lot worse because he lost. He could have cracked his skull open because he lost complete control of his body when he went through those ropes. It was scary the way he flopped, and um, and I gotta say, kudos to WWE because they uh their medical crew got out there very very fast, and WWE does an amazing job of making sure the talent is safe. And making sure in an emergency situation that they, they have the right personnel that are out there. And JBL said on commentary that it's the best you can find in the world. And that's the truth. And a great job for the uh, the referee. The referee. Getting control of the situation he got immediately. Control and the announcers are in a tough spot. I've been there as an announcer where it's impromptu. The match stops. You just, listen guys, again, this is, you know, I'm talking to you from experience. And you know, we joke around a lot about how my show is different than those other shows, and I'm going to take that opportunity right now to tell you because I've lived in all these roles. I've been knocked out in the ring. I've broke my neck in the ring. I've been an announcer where it was an impromptu stoppage to a match, and I had to do it on camera with my partner <coughs> in life. I've lived this, lived every one of those <laughs> areas. So I'm telling you from experience how it all goes down here. And um, the announcer part's rough because you're just getting your sea legs under you. You're trying to get momentum. The first match for announcers, another hack alert, First match for the announcers is the match to get your rhythm. Okay, to get your rhythm. Ah, oh, well, these guys are partners for a long time. That don't matter. You need to get a rhythm. You need to get in sync. It's like a football team. A lot of times the first play they'll run, they'll run a couple of basic running plays. So the center snap to quarterback is fluid, quick, no fumbles. Keep it simple. The exchange from the quarterback to the running back with a handoff <clears throat> is simple, quick, succinct to get a little rhythm going. Okay, that's why that's done a lot of times. Most teams don't just get a snap and just chuck a bomb. That don't happen. So, same with wrestling. You know, same with announcers. Announcers, they they, they need to get their sea legs onto them, get a rhythm going for every single show they call. And that's why it was tough for them. They just impromptu had to stop. And they Cole was, and he's experienced in this, and JBL and Saxton, and these guys were seamless in their transition to a serious situation. They handled it the right way. Um... You know, I, I, I tweeted about this and commended them. All three of those men, congrats on that. Great job. Scary moment for you guys and because it's, you know, it changes your flow. You want to make sure this guy's all right. You're all friends with him, you know. And it's, it, he, 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 you know, there were reports from the arena that there was oxygen put on him. He was put on a brace. 
He put the brace on his neck. They put him on a gurney. All this stuff, meaning Enzo. And it's scary. It was scary for Cass to sit there. You could see him standing there. He was upset. He was scared. Vaude villains left the area. I mean, the New Day was just sitting there in character, but then they kind of were just, they were scared for this guy. You know, everything got really real, real quick. And it's scary when that happens. You know, very scary. WWE, I tip my cap. Everybody was in place and did the right thing perfectly, from the referee to your medical team to the talent to your announced talent. Everybody handled it right. And-